Hello, Leos. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading. Leos, it's about to get warmer outside in some parts of the world, so you know what that means for the Leos. Get your baseball bats and your fly swatters ready, Leos, because <sighs> y'all y'all attracting some energies that some of them y'all want to attract and some of them y'all don't, so get your fly swatters ready. <laughs> Let's get into your reading, Leos. Let's get right into your readings as you continue to march forward and offload some family um, emotional baggage and get ready for some prayers to be answered. It's going to attract everything, Leos. I got to forewarn y'all. People love Leos. It's, you're going to attract everything, stuff that you don't want and stuff that you do want. So get real clear about uh just just i mean really clear about what you want and what you don't want leos let's get into it i'm talking to you wherever leos is your wherever leo is in your birth chart not just your sun sign not just your sun sign wherever leo is in your birth chart that sun is getting ready to start shining brighter 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 leos i can already feel it before i lay these cards down so make sure your egos are intact because people want to be touchy, grabby all over you. They want to be in your, your presence. Leo, mm -mm. no, no, no. Protect your aura, please. Sit down and decide what type of energies you want to attract, whether it's in business, in your personal or your professional life. Let's get it. First card out of the deck is a ten of swords. That's right. You don't need Judas spirits around you. You don't need you to spirit, so that's right. That's a good prayer to have. Protect me. Here we have five of swords. And make sure you're not continuing to keep replaying stuff over and over and over again, overthinking stuff, the hurt, the pain. Uh, that's, the, that's the process where you want to take some kind of action, right? And so sword energy is very traumatic, right? Imagine if somebody hits you with a sword. That's not like, I mean, a butter knife could hurt you, right? But a sword... So that is traumatic. So this is a time where you say, okay, I need to start really getting ahead of all of this stuff because one thing is not going to stop is the moon moving through these moon phase. I mean, these zodiac signs. So for instance, the moon is in Aries. You came out of that new moon in Pisces. We're in a waxing crescent moon phase. That moon in Pisces could have been really overwhelming for a lot of people. You could have had a one last cry this weekend. You could have felt like overwhelmingly, whatever, however you felt like, you know what, I really need to sit down and I need to think about, am I carrying emotional baggage from my family? And you don't know how far back it goes. Not necessarily just your mom and dad, but it could come back like as far back as grandparents, great grandparents, loved ones you never even met in this realm, right? And so you want to make sure that as you are protecting your energy, you're really working through getting up from this place and making sure you are not this energy. You are not a Judas in your own circle, like having an out of body experience, watching yourself being mistreated by people that you've allowed to get real close to your heart. And they just take advantage. They just take your kindness for weakness. They take your sunny disposition, your, you know, so we talk about loved ones, right? Some of, it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of shakeups this year in order to make room for the wealth that you prayed for. I know everybody just said, oh, this is the year of wealth. This is the year of wealth. But eight is the money exchange num the number. You better be real clear about being around people who have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior and energies that are egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. So it's to say there's nothing wrong with having nice things. That's what this moon in Taurus, you coming into Taurus is all about. It's going to focus on the physical plane. The moon in Taurus is going to focus on the physical plane, the matter, the ability to feel sensation and pleasure through your bodies, you know, and um, your environment, you know, the, the environment around you. So loving sex, loving pleasure, loving money doesn't make anybody dirty. It doesn't make you greedy. You know, it doesn't make you evil human beings because you like sex, because you like money, those things, everything in moderation. And so a lot of energies are going to be attracted to you because they, they feel like you're balanced out within that divine masculine and that divine feminine, different from toxic masculinity and toxic femininity, right? It's divine directly from source. You are so balanced out and you're protecting your peace so much that when certain family members and loved ones want to call you and dump their issues and problems on you, listen, y'all need to take it somewhere else because I'm not holding space for that anymore. I need to deal with my own stuff, right? That's the frequency that you all are on. It's going to give off such a sense of peace 
as we move towards, we get closer and closer to this full moon. And I know we just in the waxing crescent moon phase, just coming out of the, the new moon, but you can jump way ahead of this. March 25th is when we have the full moon in Libra. Um, and, um, and the, the Libra's Libra symbol symbol is the scales of justice. And then, um, the, uh, penumbral lunar eclipse in Libra, right? So you don't want to do an injustice to yourself by not cleaning out your own internal scales and saying, you know what? I'm not, I'm not making room for everybody else's stuff. I need to focus on me. So I have a clear picture of what lies ahead for me. So I definitely see somebody saying, you may be at, um, when you look back and you just see how many games people play, people in your own family play, they know, okay, Leos are loyal, Leos are this, Leo, Leos are life of the party, Leos are fun, you know, they know all of that, but you're not carrying their burdens anymore. Dame of Swords, La Luna, see, I couldn't even make this up, right here, family, La Luna, sometimes family can make you feel like you're going crazy, you can feel like you're a lunatic. Keep going around certain things, hoping that things are going to get better. We're supposed to be family. We're supposed to do this and that. While all the while, you don't realize you're feeding people's God complex. You're feeding people's God complex. I feel like somebody may be leaving, you know, maybe an overwhelming Aries behind. I'm not sure who I'm talking to. Or they may have Aries somewhere in their birth chart right here, but their energy is selfish, it's attention seeking, they have outbursts of anger, lack of patience, impulsive behavior. When they could choose the light side of that, which is them being courageous, determined, confident, enthusiastic, brave, honest, leader, all of those things. But they decided that when you started weighing the pros and cons and started seeing Man, this energy is really selfish. Like, I always feel like I'm the one that's got to take the high road. Um, they're attention-seeking. They're always, like, stirring up some stuff. And obviously, this is not every Aries, but whoever somebody's dealt with, somebody said, I'm done. I'm just, I'm, every time I look back at just the betrayal and the Judas spirit, mm -mm, no sir, no ma'am. Somebody decided, no, I'm leaving that mess behind. So, yeah. So, here we have, you're just, I'm telling you, there you're sacrificing their overwhelming energy, not believing in themselves, and therefore not believing that you have purpose for a whole new legacy. So, I don't know if that's somebody's family member, whether somebody was married to that energy, or, you know, uh, it can even be somebody who has Pisces somewhere in their birth chart. But whoever it is... The energies, it, it, yeah, it, it's just like I said, you're, you're going to start, that's what I'm telling you, like when I started out the reading and I said, somebody's going to feel like, okay, you know, I was jokingly talking about getting your fly swatter and your bat, because when you come, when you're coming through life and you're shy, I mean, I feel like somebody's going to be in full Leo mode, like full high vibrating, high vibrating Leo mode. And that is going to attract a lot of people. It's going to attract a lot of people, people that you, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like get your big sunglasses out. Cause it's going to feel like paparazzi for you all for real. It's going to feel like you walk, you stepped out the house. Like they never seen anything. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to inflate your egos, Leos, but seriously, it's going to feel like when you step out the house, it's like people going to feel like that. I'm not where you, you always been living in this neighborhood. That's how it's, that's how just offloading all of that unnecessary stress feels. You just feel like popping your collar. So yeah, that's what I feel like somebody's going to be doing. So yeah, you're building a very rich legacy, you know, for yourself. But I'm, it's, unfortunately, some of them won't be because they're too stuck in this. They, they too stuck in this overwhelm. Like, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. The family members that sit around, all they do is talk about everybody else. They don't believe that they have purpose. So here we have the um, page of cups. And so if you have kids, you definitely don't want to pass that mess down to your kids. You're just like, you know what? I'm keeping my kids away from them. I'm keeping my love away from them, whoever. So here we have six of swords. So I definitely see you um, moving on from the depth of that disappointment. Yeah, you got an ancestor that's helping you to move away from that and take off the blindfolds. Because when, you, when you're when you around those type of cutthroat type of energies, source is saying to you, the only person you're hurting is you. It's a, it's just been a nightmare for somebody. And so finally you said, Hey, I need to move on from that because I'm not letting these people drive me crazy. You're going through a rite of passage. You are definitely going through a rite of passage. It's been a nightmare. It's been a complete nightmare for somebody. 
somebody could have a younger sister or you could be dealing with a younger woman or you could be the younger one. You know, they could be the younger one or you could be the, but their energy is very immature. It's, it's, um, I just feel like you're at a point, Leo's, where you are just tired. Like you just feel like, you know what? I gave him my all. I feel like putting a blowtorch down and just be like, you know what? Okay. I'm done. I I'm done. You're an ex. You've been excommunicated out of my universe. And I'm not talking about ex love interest. When I say ex, I'm talking about ex relation. I'm not in relationship with you anymore. You know, and so, like I said before, you operating in your light expose a lot of people's demons. Remember, the sun illuminates the moon, right? So it's behind the moon and illuminates the moon. You operating in your light expose how a lot of people, their insecurities about themselves, it started exposing people's religious beliefs. So they started exposing their, their just their, their own prejudices about how they feel and how stifle they feel in their lives and and so that's certainly what you don't want to attract it just exposed a lot of things and so as disappointing as it could be i feel like somebody will be getting into therapy here we have the magician card yeah because the messages have been coming through for years that's why i said this year is gonna feel like the purge for real like okay i'm purging everything that and we're not talking about you know the evilness of the purge movie but it's gonna feel like you're purging a lot of stuff that's coming up from your ancestral line of just people who just don't believe in themselves. And, you know, no matter how much you try to encourage, like I said, somebody's, somebody's a, a, an extreme overgiver here. No matter how much of your heart you pour into yourself, you always come back with hurt. Imagine giving it all you got, giving it all your heart and soul with loved ones and all you get back in return is a bunch of hurt that they can work out in therapy themselves, or they can work out in, you know, there's so many alternative ways of getting help, but they'd rather dump all that onto you. You're not interested anymore. So yeah, that, that's what somebody's legacy is about to be very rich. You feel like this right here, somebody's saying, that's not my responsibility anymore. Those two types of energies, not my responsibility anymore. So good for you, Leo. It's good for you. Somebody said, I'm tired of feeling like a fool. It's time for me to leave the circus. Time for me to leave the circus where the ringmaster is instigating every little thing, you know, and whoever the ringmaster is, somebody's been instigating a whole bunch of stuff in your family, just keeping some mess going, and you're done. You are so done. So, whether you make a grand and uh, a grand exit or a quiet, a smooth, I feel like somebody's gonna make a just a smooth exit. Like, you know how this right here, look at this. That's that's why I feel like you gotta see this. The waters are not, you know, they they moving on to dry land. So you have an ancestor on the other side. It could be a man or woman. It doesn't really matter. Somebody who transitioned. It's just helping you to just glide away from them. And this person doesn't have on blindfolds because you don't see the tie like in the back of their, you know, head. But this person has taken the blindfolds off and said, you know what? I need to get away from this because I need to make room for the life and the traditions that I want to create with my family. Whoever, whether you're single and want to date. Because I'm telling you, if you're single and you want to date, everything is coming your way. You know, people are already attracted to y'all anyway, Leo. So, uh, I, I, you know what? Don't even turn down, for real. Don't the turn down for what? There's no reason for you to turn down. Shine that light very, very bright. Be your true, authentic self because everything that that you want to attract, just like think of it like this, like when the sun comes out, you know, people just come out the house any old kind of way, right? Anyway, they don't care about the sun shining bright. They don't care what they got on. So you're going to attract everything. And then some people do care. They come out the house. They're like, I'm putting my best foot forward. I'm stepping outside. The sun is shining bright. It, it catches everything. And so that's what, that's why you want to be, um, you know, very uh, deliberate and intentional about what you, but yeah. Your you living your authentic life and operating in your life has exposed a lot of people's religious beliefs, a lot of people's just beliefs about themselves. They don't believe in themselves, so they feel like they have to live this rigid robotic life. And um, you know, they can't they can't adapt to change, they can't adapt to today's time, they couldn't adapt back then, they just never fit in, so they found something that works well for them. And so that's good. That's why you're not saying anything harmful about them or to them. That's why I see somebody doing like a smooth sailing away. Just like, you know what? 
Don't even invite me anymore. I'm good. Like, or you may start off by saying just, you know, um, if they invite you to something, you may say, you know, I already had some other plans, you know, that kind of thing. I don't even see you getting into an argument with them. So anyway, here we have the four of pentacles here. So, yeah, so I definitely see, um, I definitely see you spending less time with them because money, um, Pentacles is money. Time is money, right? So I see you spending less time with them. I see you being more conservative, like really kind of sort of, um, you know, healing your heart, the the processing, just your head and heart being at war with each other, right? Here we also have the Queen of Swords. And I see you sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts, you know, carefully vetting your thoughts. So, wow, look at all this air out here and tapping into your high priestess. Yeah. So your high priestess gifts don't align with other people's religious gifts, their, their religion, their religious beliefs. And that's why a lot of people will consider, um, groups cults, right? Because the culture of the environment feels very rigid. There's no room for growth. There's no room for anything, we don't want to align with this group of people because of, and there's always a because dot, 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 that really just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We're all in the human race, right? And um, they don't want to deal with this type of people because they come from the wrong side of the tracks. They don't want to deal with this this group of people because they because of their sexual preference. They don't want to group with that because of their skin color. It's always a ridiculous um, dot, dot, dot to it. So I definitely feel like you all are breaking off and kind of spending less and less and less time and just pro trying to process your own emotions. Because every time you look back, it, it, they make you look like you're the one that's hostile. They make you look like you're the one that's hostile. Every time you look back and you get out of an argument with somebody, it makes you look like you're the hostile. And like I said before, it drives you crazy. Two and six is sore. I mean, two and six is eight of swords, right? It, it feels like, uh, for somebody like a mental imprisonment, like you literally feel like you have on a straight jacket dealing with so many, being around so many hurt people who are hurting other people. So I definitely see you feeling, spending less time with that. So good for you. I mean, for real, good for you. This year is going to be an amazing year for a lot of people, but it's going to be a, a lot of eye opening experiences and um, I definitely feel somebody feels changed, liberated, and free now. You definitely feel like a changed person when you're away from you. Feel a lot sunnier. You feel like your mood is lifted. You're probably even laughing any, even more when you're not around them. And then that moment comes across your mind when you look back and go, "Wow, it could have been different." But see, that's when you realize you can't. Um, that's when you realize you can't. You have no control over people. You have, we don't have dominion over other human beings, right? So I feel like, uh, you know, looking at your cards here, you are recognizing what your demons are of maybe being an overgiver, having way too big of a heart. And there's nothing wrong with having a big heart. But when you realize that people start taking advantage of your kindness and seeing it as a weakness, because, oh yeah, Leo's going to hang in there and Leo's just going to keep on you know, coming around and Leo is going to, oh, they're going to be the life of the party. They make everybody laugh. And you look up one day when that sun hits you and see how many sword uh, wounds you have. That's when it's going to really hit somebody, right? Like just, man, when you look in the mirror and just see how some of your own family member have aged you, have just stressed you out to the highest of stressivity. <laughs> and you're like, I can't go around them no more. Some of them, right? So it's an injustice to yourself to stay connected to certain energies or even carry other people's family emotional baggage as well. So I definitely see you being booked and busy and not burdened at all because you just said somebody says two situations in particular, they are not your responsibility at all. I'm not holding that emotional baggage. They can go get help just like you did. So here we have the three of wands and also the eight of wands. So it's just saying stay as far away from them as fast as you humanly can and sit down somewhere while you're praying and envision your life without their emotional baggage. Here we also have the page of custom. Good news is coming across your path. Um, if you're already with your person because you all have already decided to make that change and said, okay, I need to, I need to get away from loved ones who caused a lot of pain, right? Or they may have said you caused them a lot of pain. So you're certainly not trying to stay in there and cause them pain either, right? 
So either way, I feel like you and your person, um, either somebody has a new and exuberant love in their lives where both of y'all are not coming together to trauma bond. It's just understood that we're not try we're not expecting each other carry to carry family baggage and luggage. Um, and I def definitely see you all building a very rich legacy together. Like I said, when I say be more conservative with your time, you're not even dumping that. You may discuss it, but it's not like like this four, six, ten hour topic of discussion. You got 24 hours in a day. You're not spending all of that time on that. I feel like somebody may be in therapy and just say, you know what, I'm not bringing that back home, you know, to whomever or bringing that into any relationship. So, yeah, good for you. Good for you. Recognizing what your demons are and just closing them out. Just like, I don't want to be a part of the circus anymore. It's just draining. It's draining. Now it's going to make sense to somebody looking at your cards here why certain of your family members moved away. And they may only come back for funerals. And I'm not saying that to be funny either. Like they may only come back just to pay their last respects to loved ones. But they don't come around. They don't really mess with certain family members like that. Because they realized it was, they were doing an injustice to themselves. Like they just feel stifled. Here we have the chariot card. So I definitely feel his, um, the hermit card, the, the king of wands, the ten of swords, the three of swords. And we have the page of swords. Oh, Lord. Okay. Here we go. The King of Swords. Somebody is flaming hot mad at you because you decided you're not coming around them anymore. Somebody is watching you like a hawk. They are watching you like a hawk after all they did to you. Mm -mm -mm. Madness. Just straight madness. Here we have the Hermit card. So I definitely feel like somebody could be in Hermit mode right now going through a molting process. Just like, you know, taking off that worn and tattered armor from being just like betrayed so much i feel like you know what uh leo's with with all of this you know learning how to live a softer life you don't have to walk around with this like worn like a like i said it looks like somebody's armor has just like all kinds of dents and sword wounds you know like in the fighting you know those movies where they have the two um the opposing sides you know, and they're throwing swords at each other and the shields and all of that stuff. I feel like somebody, it's time for somebody to put on a new armor, you know, from the inside, a new armor of God. So you don't have to come out as like, I got to show everybody how strong I am. And I do feel like somebody is living a softer life and learning how to be meek and letting source do the work for you. Um, and so source is rewarding you for that. Source is absolutely rewarding you for that. I do see somebody settling down and getting married. Like I said, and building legacy with somebody here, we have the three of wands and I see you taking a leap of faith. Definitely see you take a leap of faith. I see somebody's in the saddle, you know, in the saddle again. I definitely feel like, uh, um, you're moving forward and, I feel like you're going to be booked and busy. Your person is booked and busy and things are happening like fast tracking for you all, whether you're single or where you already with your person. I see whatever anxiety that you have, it's going to be going away very, very soon because you have a lot of options. If you're single, you have a lot of options. And so this is where you're going to have to really sit down and just say, I don't have to be the one that's always um, over giving all the time. I should expect somebody to pour into me. So that's what I, that's a, the frequency I see you on. Good for you. Good for you. It's about time. It's about time. It's about time because yeah, somebody definitely came from some, some family members who really just, they just expect for you to always be the life of the party. They expect for you to always be having everybody laughing and they don't care how hurt you are. They don't care. Matter of fact, some of them been talking about you behind your back or try to make little snide comments in your face. Ooh, you look like you put on a little weight. Ooh, you look like you look like your hair is falling out. Ooh, but they won't they won't say they they notice all of this, but they don't notice they're part of the reason all this is happening. Oh, you look like you losing weight. Mm. Or you seem like you know they got little slick stuff to say, right? But anyway, I definitely see you moving forward. So. You made a positive impact on a lot of people and, and keep on making a positive impact on some people. Keep making a positive impact on people. I'm telling you, a lot of great things are coming your way for you and whoever. But source does not want you to look back at all. Don't look back. Your next love interest will make you happier. That's it. Some of y'all already with your love interest. You should should you double back for them? We already got that answer. Don't look back. <laughs> 
<laughs> like I said, don't look back. You too busy being booked and busy. You are not carrying their burdens. Somebody apologizes for betraying you. Whoever this person is, I feel like it was somebody's sister. Somebody's sister or a really good friend that was like a sister to somebody apologizes for betraying you. They stood right there and knew how hurt you were and still talked about you behind your back. Just a mess. That's all. That's what you know hurt. You know that the saying hurt people hurt people. That's what this is right here. They're so hurting themselves. They just need to see somebody at a lower frequency than them. So if you were to go back to that, you would be the you would become the Judas in your own circle. Talking about La Luna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, first question for the moon in Taurus. First question is, how often do you feel true pleasure? The second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? The third question is, where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? The fourth question is, can you discern your body, uh, uh, how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then last but not least is, what does your body need? Like, I feel like somebody's body needs to get away from very betrayal energies and take some time to heal the multiple sore wounds, like peeling back a lot of layers and just, you know, pouring into you. This is the time, I'm serious, it's some deep self-care that needs to happen. Like, I don't care Cut everybody off. You know, if you're with your person, I'm not talking about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, cut everybody off. And the people who are going to be there for you when you decide to come up, out, you know, healed and loving up on yourselves, Leo, they'll be there. But the ones that won't, they just move on with their lives, just unapologetically. Here we have, my future is an ideal projection of what I envision now. Yeah. Some of your, some, some loved ones do so much damage. You may have to, your healing may take until you see them on the other side for real, because they may have caused so much damage, you know, in your life. And they'll never admit to, they will never admit to it. People will stand over people's bodies in their casket and be crying the loudest, not even realizing they caused, they played a huge role in that person clutching their chest and being in the casket. If you're causing people that kind of damage, you need to be away from them. Here we have the aunt. Right. So, yeah. So I definitely feel like somebody is learning how to live a softer life that balanced out divine masculine to their divine feminine. And I definitely feel like somebody. OK, I was trying to stay away from this, but let me just say it anyway. <laughs> I feel like somebody in your family was very jealous of you. I feel like somebody I feel like a couple of people in your family may have been very jealous of you because, again, your light shines bright. You know, people gravitate towards your sunny disposition. It could be somebody's mom. It could be, you know, somebody's sister, somebody who's like a sister, you know, but it's time for you to give your inner child some nurturing. So allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to his deepest needs and feelings. Somebody's dad could have even been jealous, you know, they, okay. Anyway, let me see what the number is. Let me see what the number is. Yeah. So don't do any more injustice to yourself. That's what I see. No more injustices to yourself. 16. I am perceptive. So you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability, Leo, to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. That's right. So you're definitely wide awake. You're not you're not asleep. That number seven is in the form of a lightning bolt. And that's a tower card. That number uh, reduces to the single digit seven. Um, so somebody's definitely having an awakening, a tower moment. And again, with all this trauma that happened, you you can't really let deter you can't let other human beings determine how long it takes for you to heal from the pain that they cause. And so, pull that sword out for real, the sword of truth. I, I you know what? Today the pain stops. I need to start healing for real because. Let other people determine how you're supposed to heal. You're supposed to only grieve for three days. Like what? Uh-uh. Nope. That is what I have for you all, um, Leos. And um, last card, and let's go ahead and close this out. Last card, and let's go ahead and close this out.
joy. That's right. I was created for a purpose. And this is affirmations for joy. Great things happen to me each day. My very presence is a blessing. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice. And I choose joy. Greater is coming. I am enough. Yeah. Yeah, I am enough. So... I don't know if y'all want me to send some of y'all family members to notice that they about to be cut off. They about to get a pink slip. <laughs> Just send them the video. Let them let them figure it out. But some of a lot of your family members are about to be cut off because they've done so much damage and just been so messy towards you and, and everything else you've done with them. Somebody is saying, you know what, you're creating your own legacy. And if you have a great relationship with your family, obviously I'm not talking about you. Take what resonates. But I feel like in this, whoever's watching this, somebody feel like they just tired of the sword cuts. They tired of the phoniness, the make the fake smiles, the pretending to get along with whoever you date or marry or who want who you want to be with or your preference. Somebody is just tired. Like just exhausted. Like, you know what? It's time for me to live my best life. And I see that's what you're doing. That's what I have for you, Leos. I will see you all in the next video. Hopefully those questions have helped you. And uh, yeah, let's get ready for this uh, part, this partial lunar eclipse. And lunar eclipses are all about letting go. So like I said, you can jump way ahead. You can already be at March 25th right now. Like really when you sit down and decide, I need to heal from a lot of stuff myself before I move forward, you know, and, and just start making some decisions. You don't need to return every single phone call. You don't need to accept every RSVP. You, you Sometimes it's good to say, I'm good. I don't need to be around all of that. So that's what I have for you. And I will see you all in the next reading. Bye.